Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I thought I would jump back into it and do a grocery haul for you guys. And this is literally all I got from Walmart. Now I had planned on a smaller order because I did go and grab a few things from Trader Joe's yesterday and that was only a $30 trip. So I was like, well, it's not really worth doing a haul and things were just hectic yesterday. Um, I got home late and so I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna do a haul. It was a small grocery trip. I'll do a haul and get back into the swing of things when I pick up my Walmart order. Well, because I figured we're already dang near halfway through the week, I'll do a small order. This was supposed to be like a $70 order. Um, there was like 30 items in my grocery order. Well, I chose the 7 to 8 p.m. time slot because tomorrow's Veterans Day and the kids don't have school and Chris is taking the day off. So I thought, I don't wanna have to pick up groceries tomorrow. I'll do it tonight and get it out of the way. Never again, you guys. It was swamped. There were so many people there. Our Walmart grocery order has um, nine parking spots. Those were full, plus two people just randomly parked on the side and then like two or three cars waiting. Um, they ended up substituting two of my items, which the substitutions were fine. The only thing I'm not showing you guys is the 40 pound bag of salt that is for our water softener. I just put that out in the garage. Um, other than that, they were out of stock on 15 of my items. You guys, half of my order. So you mean to tell me Walmart literally had like no cheese, no zucchini, no, no yellow squash, no cucumbers, no lunch meat, no hot dogs. I know that I've heard people say that there are people like panic buying again, but I have not experienced that in my area. Um, Trader Joe's was fully stocked. I got stuff at Fry's. I've been into Fry's. Everything there was fully stocked. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are starting to see panic buying again. I know people on TikTok said they were having issues with their Walmart. I couldn't decide um, if they're, are they really literally out of these items? Is it just because I did a late time slot after, you know, like a full day's worth of people shopping there? Or was it just people that didn't know what they were looking for? I don't know. So needless to say, this is like the most ridiculous grocery order ever. I wasn't even gonna do this, but I had already posted a video today unboxing my BoxyCharm and mentioned I was going to be doing a grocery haul, so I figured why not. So <laughs> the two items that they substituted, one was the kid's toothpaste and the other was the bag of salt that I mentioned. Um, and then I had 15 items out of stock, so I paid a whopping $37 for all of this, which kind of seems outrageous when you sit here and look at exactly what it is. Um, there's not a whole lot here. So I ordered Tillamook Sharp Cheddar Cheese. I ordered the white cheddar once again, but they gave me the regular, which is fine because we love this stuff. I got an 18 pack of eggs, but hold on a sec. Is that one broken? Maybe not. Good. Usually they're really good about eggs. I hardly ever, um, I don't know if I've maybe once had an egg broken in a Walmart grocery order. I've got broccoli. I got a cantaloupe. Um, one mango, I did only choose to order one mango. I was like, oh, I'll just get one. I haven't had a mango in a while. Um, so I got that. Some bananas. I got some marinades. They were out of stock online of a lot of the flavors we liked for the marinades, but these two are really delicious. We really like these as well. The mojito lime is one of my favorites. Some grape tomatoes. I like to use these when I make oven roasted chicken and vegetables. I love um, like the tomatoes when they're cooked. I love them raw too though. I'll just snack on these throughout the day love tomatoes. I got some lens wipes. I have not tried this brand before, so I'm not quite sure how well they work, but I needed these for like my computer screen, the camera, um, the TV, phones, that kind of stuff. Um, I'll probably also put a couple in my car for like our glasses or like, you know, like sunglasses. And then I also have prescription driving glasses. So I thought those would be come in handy. Um, I got a loaf of bread, which I have like half of a loaf in the pantry right now. But I was like, oh, just in case this will get us through. Thank goodness I am stocked up on peanut butter. I've got a bunch of the Nerdy Nuts peanut butter and I even have some Jif in there because they were out of lunch meat and cheese. So we might be eating peanut butter and jelly. I got a little bit of lunch meat left, not a whole lot. And I think I have like maybe two pieces of cheese left. Um, they were even out of salami and cream cheese to do salami cream cheese roll-ups for the kids. I got Chris his favorite Fuji Apple sparkling water. I had also ordered a 12 pack of the Clear American Black Cherry sparkling water and they were out of that. This is for Kiwis. Um, Jackson and Cohen love Kiwi and they just finished off the Golden Kiwi I bought at Costco like a long time ago. I haven't been to Costco in quite a while. Maybe that's what I'll do next week. Um, and I feel like Kiwi is a fruit that you can keep in the fridge for a long time and it lasts forever. So. 
Um, I just grabbed four of these because like I said, hopefully I'll go to Costco and get more. Um, two avocados. I have been back into my avocado toast kick lately. I almost combined that to avocado. Um, someone on TikTok recommended um, I mash the avocado with a hard boiled egg, kind of like you would if you make like egg salad. It was delicious, you guys. Highly recommend it, total game changer. I took two hard boiled eggs and mashed it with a fork and then I added half of an avocado and mixed it all up. Delicious. And she said that she also does that when she makes like an egg salad sandwich. Instead of putting mayo in the egg salad, she puts avocado. So I'm gonna try that as well, it was so tasty. I got some hot dog buns, but they were out of hot dogs, and I just kind of find that strange, like they're really out of every single kind of hot dog. I actually ordered an expensive kind of hot dog, the Nathan's hot dogs, and I'm like, you were out of everything, like even something cheaper you could have substituted it with, so I don't know. It just seems crazy to me because I haven't, we haven't been having any issues in Arizona, so I don't know if this is just like a coincidence, if I just picked a bad time, a bad day, or if it's really starting back in with the panic buying because I don't think I can handle that again. And then half of a gallon of milk. So that is my grocery order. There it is. Thankfully, we are fully stocked on like dinner items. Um, I have a bunch of breakfast stuff and we have tons of snacks because we've been blessed. I'll show you guys really quick my messy pantry. Um, so we've got lots of peanut butter. If we want to make peanut butter sandwiches, the Nerdy Nuts. We um, finished off the cookies and screams. This peanut butter is amazing, you guys. I'll put the link in the description and my discount code if you guys wanna try this. I'm all about supporting small businesses and Erica, the owner of Nerdy Nuts, is amazing and she started this company on her own. Like, fantastic peanut butter. Like, hands down, best peanut butter you'll ever have. Um, and then thankfully our snacks are fully stocked so I'm not going to need to worry about that. I think I had only ordered the Great Value Mini Chippers. They are little bags of chocolate chip cookies that look similar to this and they were out of stock. Um, I do need to fill, this is usually usually granola bars, I need to refill that. I have a bunch of spares in here of like random snacks that's all unopened besides the veggie straws and the mango chili lime um, black bean crisps. And then we've got tons of tortilla chips, even some JoJo's from Trader Joe's. It's like their version of um, Oreos more chips so we are good to go and then my best friend from childhood from growing up we've been friends since six years old sent us these two goodie baskets um of a bunch of different snacks there's crackers and candy and popcorn and just anything and everything you could think of is in these gift baskets and then she also sent us these um popcorns we already opened one of the zebra popcorns there's a cheddar cheese caramel another zebra and a kettle corn so we are good to go. This was just kind of like random things that I had ordered to kind of get us through the week. They were just kind of some of like our regular stuff that I order in a lot of my grocery orders. So I was just kind of bummed about that because um, it was gonna make lunches tough, but thankfully it's already Tuesday. They have no school tomorrow, so they can eat like mac and cheese or something like that at home. And then I'll only have to pack a lunch for Thursday. And then the boys get out early every Friday, so they do not take a lunch and then Aniston will. But She's always down for PB&J, so that's not a problem. But I hope you guys are having a great week, and hopefully next time I come out with you, uh, come at you with a grocery haul, it would be nice if I could speak great today. My mind is just like, I'm so scatterbrained, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, hopefully it'll be a semi-normal haul and we won't have any issues, but that, I think, was a record for me other than when corona first started. Um with how many out of stock items I had. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are having these issues or if this is just a fluke. I really hope the panic buying is not setting in again, you guys. Like, did people not learn the first time around? It doesn't do you any good, so. All right, guys, have a great night. Bye.